Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a big collective haul for my future reading slash just journal. <laughs> I think it's going to be a mix of stuff. I'm going to put anything I want in this journal, although the main basis will be reading. But yeah, so I'm, things are slowly trickling in. So I think I'm just going to do a big collective haul here with a few different clips as things get in and I can haul them. The very first thing that came in, which is nice is the journal itself and I wanted to haul it before I started doing I'm going to do another video about like prepping and uh, before I put anything in it into the notebook so let us um yeah let's haul this so this is a notebook therapy notebook and um I just got it uh, it, cut, it came in like a slightly bigger shipping box and then wrapped nicely in like corrugated paper so you know it wouldn't get smushed so it's very nicely packaged and it just came with this little card here it just says thank you very simple and then this is what came in the box um, and it's wrapped in plastic so whoop, it's water safe which is nice but let's open this up first uh, and let me then look quickly about what which one I actually bought comes in this really pretty box with gold foiling of these dangly moons and stars. Let me quickly look which one I got. The thing is that most of their designs are like limited edition, but some of them come back in stock. So, um, I don't know, this could be gone or could be there <laughs> if you're looking for this one specifically. Um, here you go. So this is the Suki Suzumi Winter Limited Edition Bullet Journal in A5, and it is a what? It is white. So very excited to see this. Oh, we got some vellum here. Here she is. So pretty. So let me take this out. Oh. So in the box, I think it's just the vellum paper. So here we have the notebook. She is very thick. I think it said, let me have a look at the email again, there are 176 pages for the A5 size. They do have a smaller size and sometimes bigger sizes, I think. But this is the A5, which I thought was a good size for um, the reading journal because it gives me a little bit more room to decorate and also write in. But yeah, you can see the white. It looks pretty close to this IKEA tabletop. But here we have some planner paper, so it's a bit warmer white. And this is the Suzumi design. So this also comes in a pink design as well, but it's more of a blush warm pink, I think. I did get the original size of that one <laughs> before I bought this one. Because um, I was thinking I might do original, but then I was thinking about doing A5. So we'll see when that one comes in, but I'm thinking it'll be this one, because I like the white cover. And the cover feels like it is maybe pleather, fake leather, because it has that leather feel. I know a lot of their notebooks also have a linen. You can see on the little, that's a really cute star. But I really love the design because I like the, the shooting star and the little bird of moon. And then on the side, you have this little flower as well, just there on the side. And then the sides are gilded with a pretty cool toned gold actually. It's more cool tone than what's pressed in the cover, but that's okay. And um, so in the front page, you just have the belongs to page or the information. And then you have always have this like sticky page here, which I might actually just glue these together because it's always a bit annoying <laughs> to use this page. Um, and then we just have a gray dot grid. Let's see if I can, there you go. Pretty standard book. And it's the same throughout. It lies like flat pretty well, so that's nice to see. Um, and then at the back, we just have another set of those kind of pages. Oh, the Suzumi bird symbolizes good luck, which brings hope to whoever see who sees it. That's really cute. We do have um, a white strap here, so you can close the cover. And we have a pocket to hold things here in the back. And it does come, I think all their notebooks come with a free paper clip. So this is obviously of the Suzumi bird, which is really pretty. 
But you can shove the things in this pocket here, which is always nice. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to be using for my future journal. Oh, there's also um, ribbons. I forgot to show them. Ah, so it has like, it has two blue ribbons in here, which I think is cute, like the sort of sky blue. So you have like the blue ribbon and the rest is white. But yeah, it's really pretty. The, the paper feels really thick. I think it's 160 GSM. Um, I don't intend to take this notebook anywhere, so I don't really care if it's white and gets dirty. It's just, you know, a well-lived journal. It's probably going to get really, really fat. I do want to, like, probably have both 2024 and 2025 in here, so there be, should be plenty of room to do that. Because um, I don't read that many books, which is why I'm also going to include music and movies and TV and just everyday kind of stuff, or, like, video games as well. I'm going to include in here, so... Um, yeah, I just thought I'd also pick up the A5 just to see if I wanted the bigger size because I feel like this is more of a standard size with people who journal. Um, so if also get any like spread ideas, this could be a good one. But yeah, it looks really pretty and the paper is really smooth and thick. So I think it'll be really good for um, different kind of pens and stuff. But I'll show you those later in this haul because I don't have anything else in just yet. But we'll continue on with the next clip. So I have another whole part for you and this is from My Indie and Co which is a Finnish shop. In fact they have a brick and mortar shop here in Helsinki but it's like an hour away on the tram and the bus for me so I just ordered it to the parcel locker and I'm very excited to go through these things that I got for the journal. But first I did get some freebies here. I got this sticker here Although I'm pretty sure this unicorn is AI, so nah. I mean, what can I do? But um, there's the my indie uh, code.com there, but I will have everything down for this haul in the description below that I can. And then I just have this uh, little postcard here as well about that. But yeah, I picked up a couple of different things. I mostly went in for the Tombos because it was nice to have like a local place to get the Tombos from. And I got a selection of colors that I thought would do well in like themes for my journal. Um, so shall we quickly, uh, I just have a different journal here to like, in fact, actually another thing, I wanted to hold this like clip. Let me open this. It's actually a magnetic clip, so it's got a magnet attached to it. Um, so I guess you could put it on the fridge or something, but I was just going to use it to literally like... Um, well, I want to check it out because it does have this sort of um, grooves on it, but I thought the design was really cute. It was purple. So I wanted to see if I could use it to keep, you know, like um, the journal open without killing it. <laughs> like without leaving grooves. So I can leave that there, but you can see how it like, keeps the page open. I thought it was really cute. All I could see from the brand was that it was called on the website Meatball. So I don't know. It just says it's called Meatball. <laughs> I don't know much else about it. It does seem to be from Japan. It's just called Meatball. But um, my Indigo it sells a few different versions of this. It looks really cute. But it does have a magnet so you could put it elsewhere. But I want to just sort of, you know, those clips that keep the pages open. But I do see that it, has it hasn't left any of the grooves into the paper, so this could work. So anyway, back to, uh, actually let's just, let's do the, the Tompos after. I want to quickly show you some other things I got. This is also the meatball thing, and it's just a little ruler because I don't have like a little normal ruler to use. This is a cute little graphic, happy together. And again, I picked up the purple one, and it's like glittery as well, which I think is really cute. And this is a, just a, zero, a 15 centimeter ruler, which is nice. And then the other end has this like scallop, which could be interesting. I wonder if you could actually like use the scallop or not, but I do just want a little ruler just for like smaller lines, and I haven't had one in a long time. <laughs> So I thought that was really cute with the purple and the glitter, just the cute little designs. So again, that was Meatball. 
Um, and then I just picked up some stickers, so we can do those last. We'll do the Tombow um, swatching now. But these are the ones I was able to get. Um, they had most of the colors that I wanted, but they didn't have everything. But um, yeah, I thought I'd try out Tombows in the planner, in the journal, because I see a lot of people using them, especially to make like lines on the dot grid. But first I got N95. This was actually the only gray that they had um, in stock. It's like a cool gray. We have like a brush end. If you've never seen a Tombow, you have a brush end and you also have a like, normal nib like that. So you have like, yeah, this like nice cool gray. But I feel like you can get, it's for like, you know, small subtle grayness, which would be nice. Then for warmer colors, I got 942. I can't remember the individual names. They actually might be here on my invoice. Yes, here they are. Um, so this one's just N95 Cool Gray One. And um, 942 is Cappuccino. So let's try that. It's like a really nice, pretty, um, you know, neutral color. It kind of makes me think of like a milky coffee. Then I have 977, which is Saddle Brown. And that's like a, a richer, like warmer brown. But I thought that could be cute for like, you could do like bookshelves or things like that in it. I don't know, I wanted a deeper brown and a lighter brown. <laughs> and then we have 772, which is Dusty Rose. I think this one's pretty popular. Just a nice soft pink, a very nice warm pink. And then of course we had to have some purples. I have 623, which is purple sage. On this paper, it's actually like pretty bright. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But I still think they'll work well. And then we have um, I feel like the blues are kind of lacking for me. This is 553, which is actually mist purple, so it's supposed to be a purple. But it feels like a really pretty periwinkle blue to me, not mist purple. As you can see in the difference between what's supposed to be purple. <laughs> um, and then we have as a proper blue 451, which is sky blue. And that's just a really pretty bright blue. Definitely feels like a sky blue. <laughs> and then finally I have 243, which is mint. Ooh, I like this. I, I, when I was looking at swatches, I couldn't tell, like mint looked different in a lot of them. But I'm liking this cool set here because I feel like you take out these and I feel like these four colors go together so well, like as a color palette. And then I guess with the gray as well. <laughs> and then we just sort of have some random neutrals for different kind of spreads. Um, but I was thinking like I would write, like if I did lines, I could write over these. Just wanna see how they look with text on them. I actually think all of them look fine with text. I don't know if I would do lines with the brown. But if you did like, uh, you know, alternating lines for when you want to see how you, where you want to write in the dark grid, and then you can write on the like the colored inline. You can get some really colorful, fun spreads by using these more bright colors. But I think that looks good. So those are the Tombows. And I know you can also like do lettering, which I haven't done a lot of lettering to be honest. I know that's like the most that I'm good at. I'm not very good at lettering, but I kind of wanted them to do for also coloring in and doing the line work. And then this came in very useful. <laughs> and then, okay, I'll show you the Midori um, sticker packs that they had. These were on sale. Um, yeah, the, the official Midori sticker packs, and there's 12 sheets in each. And I actually wanted to go in first for this theme. Um, does it say here what it's called, maybe? Oh, they're just like in different colors. 
But, um, I wanted to get this theme for, I wanted to do a spread based off of, well, I, one of the series I want to track reading is Proust in Search for Lost Time. Oh, so this is the Mist Green Decoration Sticker. And I thought this set of stickers would be perfect for a spread, like my series tracker spread for In Search for Lost Time. Um, if you don't know, they're like French books and they kind of cover a character from childhood through their life. Um, so I think these are, yeah, these are all stickers. Um, and I thought this like kind of made me think of Swan's Way a bit. <laughs> so first we have the like bedroom. Um, we got two of those, which is nice. And then you have like this town, which makes you think of like the French small town that Swan Swan's Way kind of like talks about. I've already read the first book in Search for Last Time, but yeah, I'm, I'm planning to read the second book when I can. <laughs> There's a few of them, so. Then we have these circles that will be perfect for layering, ones with the more flowers. And then we have some little thing stickers. Oh, they're kind of, oh, hmm. They're like the same, but in different order, which is funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this will all be really good for that. I probably, I might like doodle a little like Madeline or something like the little cakes Madeline's. Oh, and these are strips, I believe. Yeah, long strips so you can get a sort of washy look for them in that pattern. And then we just have some little quotes here. Very silly. <laughs> but I don't know, I thought these would be cute just to decorate that as, with some other things. Because these just made me think of that. But I thought these would also be fun for like any other, any spread for anything that matched with it. So I, I picked up two more that I thought I would like. But it's a nice little pack of deco stickers with some interesting different bits and pieces. I like like the washi strips and the like ovals for layering. I'm trying to get this in properly. Um, so then we have this purple one. You know your girly needed this. This is just the purple sheet. All right. This could also work for Proust, honestly. <laughs> you have these beautiful lavender fields. I love like the, the hand-drawn like pencil pastel versions of these. Look how pretty that is. I love like the look into the sort of entryway. And then we have the ovals in those two patterns. Very simple patterns, which is nice. And then these stickers are really cute. The, I just love the cat in these ones, but also the lavender, the bunny. The bunny is so chub. I love them. Beautiful. And then you just have these as well. This one says bonjour, I think. Laugh with friends. <laughs> and the strips. I just like, you know, they were on sale and I was looking through the stickers. And I thought these would be nice just to add. Because these could just do like one whole spread for a book or another thing. So this one's just beige. It's called. Again, I was drawn to this one because of the, this one was called for the coffee and the cats. <laughs> So this cute um, table scene with the coffees and the croissant. And the, again, this is like a Paris feel, feel. So this could all, like, I could use all of these for Proust books, if I'm being honest. Beautiful blue pattern, and then the cream pattern. So pretty. And then look at these ones, the cat and that dog. Like, what is that? What is that thing? <laughs> It's so cute. This one does have cakes and this one has a croissant. That's interesting. They have a slight difference to them. This is real cute. Un, deux, trois. Grateful for small things, big things, and everything in between. That's a silly quote. <laughs> That's cute. But yeah, I don't know. I just like, I saw these like packs and like they make me think of the Proust books. <laughs> I picked those up and I could probably use them in all those kind of spreads. Like, you, know, you, got, you got books set in France and things that you could use this for, but all sorts of different things. They're really pretty packs. But that is everything I got from my Indico. It was mostly in order for the 
tombos, but also the ruler and the clip to keep the, the book closed. And it hasn't left any of its like teeth marks in there. So I feel like that will work out um, in my main journal. But yeah, that's everything. And we'll go into the next clip. Well, I've got some more mail in. And this is from Maragona Suli, who um, I feel like is a pretty large artist in like the Boudreaux scene. And I know um, Kat from Peace Love Plans has set up her whole Boudreaux like reading journal to be themed after Maragona's art. So I just did a big old order on her website. <laughs> um, so let's have a look. I've just taken it out. Um, Maragona Suli is in Germany. So shipping was pretty fast and cheap for me here in Finland, which was an upside. <laughs> but yeah, I got a ton of stuff. First we have, I think there's some more stuff in here. Let me just unpack all this. Okay, so first we have this um, thank you card on the front. I just have some information there, of course it'll be linked down below. But yeah, I'm really excited. They have super witchy bookish art. Uh, like I think it's all kind of witch themed. Um, and so like Cottage Core and Ac Dark Academia, Light Academia, a whole bunch of stuff. I think I've got a few freebies in here. Cause I don't think I ordered any of these. I think. I can't remember, I did a huge order. <laughs> but I know I didn't order any postcards, so she must have put those in, I think. Let me have a look for my email so we can be like accurate. Sticker sheet. Um, I did get this sticker. And that one, okay. I think these are the freebies that I were included in my order. So we have some um, a little die cut sticker here on some matte paper, just of some sleeping ducks, so cute. And then we got two, two little freebie samples here. I think this is her newer art, like these little duck cottage core stuff. And then I got this postcard included. So you get an idea, like um, you've probably seen it also in Andrea's one of her latest hauls. Um, she also bought some art from Maragona, but. Just some really cute witchy book stuff and this postcard too. So pretty. And they are proper um, postcards. Oh yeah, has a little gift on it. <laughs> so cute. And I think everything else I wore, which as you can see, um, I bought a lot. I tried to get mostly small sheets um, and then there were ones that just came on larger sheets. So let's get straight into it. First I have two tag cut stickers here. I got this little ghost on an armchair, adorable. And I think this is the dark academia like window and I just love the little cat in there as well. So cute. So these were like the small sheets and I think I selected um, the like white vinyl premium paper for these. So we have witchy greenhouse and I just loved these greenhouse designs. I love how those cats in a lot of these illustrations. Yeah, it's a pretty like thick paper. But it's like nice and matte. Feels good. It's nicely printed. Then we have Tea Witch, which I feel like goes with this. I tried to get some of the pair, like paired sheets that were in stock. Um, so you could use like both sheets for like a spread. And this is like the, the cute little Tea Witch here. And again, another cat and a little owl. So adorable. And all the little pieces are actually cut out as well, which is cool. So you can like use the little dots and sparkles. Then we have books and flowers. So I think these are all of the same like set, you can see here. And I just love like, yeah, these are such pretty book stacks that you could use like in multiple spreads. Um, all right. Let's go, okay, we have books and flowers, but this autumn kind of more like 
cottage core light academia vibe colors rather than like the pinks and the purples and green then we have dark academia girl so cute that is like the chessboard in here as well and the, the people are a really adorable um style I had to get some of the Christmas stuff too for later, so we got books, cats, and Christmas. You know I had to get the cat sheet because look at them. They're so cute. I like how they're all asleep in the bookshelf. <laughs> and then I just got the standard Christmas sheet, so I, I feel like these two go together. Um, but you get some more cats here looking out a window. So pretty. And then we have Christmas Bakery, which is again, the similar colors. I love this chocolate bar, it looks so good. I love food stickers. <laughs> then we have Huga Witch, which is, you know, the like the Copenhagen um, I like word for like being cozy and at home and all sorts of other things for Huga, but so cute. I love like the vintage pot here with the design. And again, cats. I just got most sheets if they had a cat. We have so many books, which is a different book stack design, but with these pretty browns and pinks. And then we have that again, but in this sort of more icy blue, a colder blue kind of feel. And then I picked up Book Witch, which goes with this one, yeah. So those go together. Just a cute little book, which again, a little cat. I almost just said like it's thick paper uh, and then we have a um, more brown version of this so many books sheet so you have like different colorways there and this is a straight up brown one which is nice for different spreads and then I have some larger sheets here these were on print these were available newer ones available on vinyl paper and on, only on large size I think um, but they look really good. It'll be interesting to try out her vinyl paper compared to the matte. It definitely has that smooth vinyl feel. And this is just cottage. And I really liked the duck design. It was so cute. And then I got the cottage witches. So um, that's like the postcard that she gave me as well. Um, but this way you can have like the individual witches to put into a spread and I just thought the ducks are really cute. And then finally we have flowers and I just love how they're girls with like a whole lot of flowers in their beautiful hair. So pretty and I do like the flowers as well. And then finally I think these are all a little like witch series so they're like this sheet but now this sheet's on vinyl. And these are back on the, the matte paper. And these only come in a larger size but I think they'd just be really cute to like supplement a spread. So you have Dark Academia Witches. You have Halloween Witches. I had to get the Pride Witches because I thought they were so cute and I love the colors of them. It's me, right there. <laughs> so cute. Then we have the Book Witches. I really like this one, I think, the most, with the books on the side and her beautiful hair. And then, then it's the last one. I just got the bookish, so they're not witches. They're just bookish girls, and I thought they looked real cute. I wish I could be that cute. <laughs> I just don't have the fashion. But, um, yeah, so this is all the bajillion sheets that I got from... Uh, Marigola Suli. So yeah, you should definitely check out her. I bought from her website, although I know she's also on um, Etsy. But yeah, I just purchased from her website because she's in Germany, so it was easy for me to purchase and have it shipped here. But yeah, that is everything I got from her, and I can't wait to do some reading journal spreads with them. Okay, that's everything for this haul. Nothing else has really come in yet, and I'd like to put this up for you to watch. But I hope you enjoyed this little haul. Of course, there'll be a lot more journaling stuff to come. I still have all my Scribble Prince Co. stuff to haul, but that will be in a normal sticker haul, I think. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this journaling haul and I will see you next time. Bye bye. I love you. Bye bye.